Yeah, hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to user one productions my name is david and in today's tutorial we are going to be covering more of our how to make a slender man clone inside of unity and today we're going to be actually creating the map for our player to roam around and eventually collect pages and get hunted by the slender man as always my friends if you come to enjoy today's video remember to drop me a like subscribe if you're new and also remember that everything you see in this tutorial video is linked in the description on a Google Drive for a free download. Every asset I've ever used in my channel is free to use for you guys. Another thing you can find in the description is our Discord channel with over 400 very talented game developers always wanting to help. So if you guys have some questions or just want to join the community or talk to me privately, that is the best way to do so. Something new inside the description is also my Patreon. It's just a place where you guys can support me, only $5 a month. To some of the behind the scenes content of what I'm doing, you get to see more content about EFH, which is a game that I have been developing and hope to soon have a release for. On top of that, you guys can see videos two weeks earlier than the normal YouTuber would be able to see. And then you guys get to choose polls and then other tutorial videos that I will prioritize in making over non patrons But most importantly, again, it is just a way to support me with everything that I do for you guys and everything like that. Plus, it motivates me to make more videos for you guys. So I really appreciate you all. Thank you to all my Patreons. And uh, let's get on to how to make this map inside of Unity. So here we are inside of our scene so far where we've made the pages that we can pick up. So with that, what I'm actually going to do is you guys remember to download the Slender Tutorial Series 4. Uh, it is linked in the description on the Google Drive. We talked about that already. Inside here we have this, which is just a top down of what the map looks like. And this is kind of what we're going to be referencing for the terrain we're going to be creating. So let's do that. Let's go game object, 3D object, and let's do a plane. Actually, I, I lied, not a plane. We're going to do a terrain. And it's going to be this huge thing and that is way too big for our slender game so let's click the gear and let's size it down let's do a width of 200 and then maybe a length of 100 something like that and then eventually we'll add on to it um just so it doesn't look like we're floating in midair it'll actually look like there'll be more force around it but this is pretty much going to be the play area i believe we can always scale it up scale it down uh what else i'm going to do is I'm gonna hide everything except the terrain in our light source so that way we just see the plane we can only work on the plane let's do this but we have our reference image here is I'm going to create another game object of a plane and I'm just gonna to go to top view orthographic I'm gonna click that plane and I'm actually gonna just scale it to the size of this terrain something like that and then I'm actually gonna create a material I'm gonna call it map and we're gonna put that full size map into that material here and put it right there like this make sure it's facing the right way which it should be facing like this and this is what we're gonna be basing the whole map on so what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna start placing down all of our assets inside your slender tutorial number four folder you'll have models inside that you'll have FBX exports and then what we're going to do is just start placing them down in here so let's see we have brick wall site which is right here click and drag that in here like this and then just kind of get the scaling all correct scale up like so make sure it's sitting there I might speed up this part of the video because I believe you guys get the gist of what I'm doing here I'm just clicking and dragging the models in. So let me actually speed up the video and we'll see you when it's finished. Okay, so now that I have all my assets laying around, what I'm actually going to do now is actually click the plane and just hide it for a second here. 
And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click create an empty game object and just call this um, assets. And everything we just place down the logs, the bathroom, the shack, everything like that. Let's just click and drag it and put it into our assets. Make sure that's everything it is. Very nice. And now make sure it's not floating. Bring it down. Just like that. We have our whole map pretty much lined up for how we want it to go. So now what we got to do is we go into our terrain here. We're going to click paint and we want to paint a texture. Let's do yeah, let's do this brush here and then just turn the opacity and brush size down. So that way the paths are not going to be huge. And then we're going to create a layer. So let's do grass see how it looks because I believe there's a few grass textures that we are able to use it does look pretty good it looks really small so what we do with that is we change tiling let's do one uh, let's do like four four five 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 looks pretty good let's do a six six on the X and the Y and that looks pretty good I mean, what else I'm gonna do is I'm sick of seeing this grid here so I'm trying to look at this texture and all I can see is a grid on top of it right here. Just click it and it hides that grid. And that looks OK for grass at the current moment. We might change it. We might not. I'm not sure yet. So now that we have this, uh, the grass texture down, we can actually do edit textures again inside the terrain, create a new layer. And let's add our dirt in. Click on the dirt. And now, as you see, we're able to just paint it in. Kind of like we're texture painting in um, Blender. What I'll do is I'll change the opacity up. I'll do like 50. So that way it's more of a defined um, paint. We can even turn up to 100 if we wanted to. And anyway, that's probably what we're going to do. Just keep it at 100. Let's make our assets small. Close up that folder. Let's do plain. And now if I click on terrain, we should be able to paint right through it. Okay, so that's exactly what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my dirt and start painting this in. You guys won't be able to see it until I put the plane away, but Let's flash it off, see what it looks like. There we go. We have a very basic outline of what the dirt's going to look like. So I know this is supposed to be colored in right here, right? I'm also going to make it so um, they're not as sharp of corners, kind of like rounding them off like this. Um, as you can see, my tunnel right here, the dirt actually goes on the outside of it. So we don't want that. What we do is just click our grass. We're going to make the brush size super small, maybe like a two and just go like this and fine tune it. So that way the dirt isn't coming out the side of it. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to, again, skip ahead in the video a little bit uh, just by fast forwarding it. So you guys don't need to watch this part. So I'll catch you when I'm done fine tuning everything. Okay, so now that everything is fine tuned, there's no sharp angles in my dirt path. We might actually eventually go in and make the dirt path a little smaller, more narrower. Um, but for right now, I'm perfectly fine with how this looks. What we need to do now is go to our asset store and we're going to just look for free assets. So that way anybody can be doing this. If you guys have your own tree models, you can use those. Um, for me, I'm just going to go with this one right here, the realistic trees, add it to my assets, accept, and now we have trees in our assets. So let's go into Unity, Window, Project uh, Package Manager. Uh, this could take a while to load depending how many assets you actually have. Uh, packages, make sure it's my assets, 
go to your search and we're just going to type in tree and here they are let's import them very nice okay so let's click on our terrain go to paint tree edit trees add a tree and let's add a tree inside let's go with um i think we'll start off with this one you can add as many trees as you possibly want so the way you paint with the trees is you just click and drag if you want to get rid of some just hold shift and then repaint over it i'll turn tree density all the way up and my brush size to say five and then i will just click them all in individually i'm not going to completely fill it in because i am like i said going to add more trees Okay, so I think I have plenty of these trees around. Let's add another tree. So let's do edit trees, add a tree. And we're gonna add, let's go with, uh, so this is the one we just did. Let's go with this one with the branches coming off the sides. And our settings will stay the same. So we can just start clicking them in. Uh, I might actually bring my brush size up a little bit and then my tree density down its head. Okay, so now that we have our trees laid around, uh, eventually we're going to be making the terrain bigger so that way we can actually, uh, when we're playing and the player say comes over here, they don't see the edge of the world, they'll actually see more forest, but this, what we just created is going to be the play zone for the player. So what we're going to do, is so we're going to click on our terrain, we're going to go to the little gear icon and turn tree distance all the way down. So that way the trees are still there. We just don't see them because I'm going to be painting in grass right now. So I don't want to see the trees. Let's go into this flower icon for our grass. Edit details. Add grass texture. And the detail texture, I'm going to type in grass. And I've provided these three right here. They look a little funky inside the um, folder here, but that's fine. We have a normal grass, one with red flowers, and then one with white flowers. So let's just do the regular one. Um, opacity, I like to turn that down super small, and target strength super small. So that way it's painting it, but it doesn't paint too much to where it literally globs on top of each other. I'm going to just click uh, in between, so that way it doesn't add too, too much. Uh, when we get to the outside over here, like where the dividers are not i'm going to be adding way more but this is just to kind of fill in where around the trees are the reason i'm clicking also is because i'm going to be adding the flowers in between too and i don't want the textures to be overlaying each other so let's just keep doing that So now that we have the map full of grass, maybe we want to add some flowers. So let's add a grass texture again, a new one, and let's add some of these red flowers in. Uh, why did that not add? So I forgot to press add. There we go. Click that one. And now let's click around. So now we don't only have grass, we have this nice little flower texture in there. And it just gives the game a little bit more um, life to it, I guess you could say. Okay, so now that we have our grass and our flowers in there, which our flowers look a little funky because they're actually green. Um, so what we can do is double click it and change the healthy color to a white. And then our uh, dry color can also be white, uh, but I'll just turn them down so it kind of gives a variation to them. 
And what I'll do is I'll do that with all of them. Should have done that first. Um, but that's what we're going to do right now. Now that I'm seeing that the colors were off. Even for the normal grass, just change that to a white. Um, and then the dry color to a little darker. So that way it doesn't look like completely new grass. Some of it does and some of it's yellowed, which is nice. We can go back into our gear and we could do our tree detail. Let's turn our player back on. Let's figure out where he's at. Where is he? He's all the way over here. So let's just bring him in to the scene, right? I'm going to place him like right there just so we can make sure everything's looking good. And then actually what we need to do too, on all of our assets that we added, uh, we need to add a component of a mesh collider. So that way we're not going through the objects, we're actually um, colliding with them. So let's max on play and check it out. Now this is where you can actually start seeing the problems, which are this bathroom area is way too small. So we have to scale that up. Uh, easy fixes, easy fixes. Same thing with the uh, tankers. They're a little on the small side. Uh, what we could do to actually fix that though is instead of changing all of our assets around, we just shrink the player. So grab his camera and just bring it down a little bit. When we play the game, now the tankers look about the right size. And now the building, we're not going through the roof. And we can actually walk around, we can turn our flashlight on. And now we have the bathrooms and the whole map is set up for us to uh, roam around. What else we can do now that this is set up? Let's go to that gear. I'm gonna turn tree density down, detail down. And we can actually go to this first tab, which is adding. I'm going to add terrain all the way around. You just click and it automatically adds a new piece of the, the terrain. And now that we have each piece of the terrain, what we do is we click on one piece of it and we go edit trees, add tree, and then we're going to bring in a tree model. It doesn't matter which one because this again is outside the map. Um, I'm going to make these as big as possible and as small as possible. Uh, brush size can be 100. I'm going to do tree density down to like 50. I'm going to bring my camera up here so I can start painting them in. And it will paint on all the terrains visible. So let's just do this. Make sure you don't get too close to your original one because it will place them inside that terrain as well. Alright, cool. So now we play the game. Uh, of course we got to turn our player back on. And now it looks like it's a never ending uh, forest. I have the grass turned off, so that's why you're not seeing the grass right now. But now we have a full length map, um, but that is pretty much how you create the whole map inside of Unity. In the next tutorial, uh, Slender Clone number five, we're actually going over the Slenderman AI and how it's going to work uh, very basically it's just going to follow us around by teleporting and it's going to get more aggressive uh, the more pages we collect. But that is how the map is created inside of Unity, you guys. If today's tutorial, you guys enjoyed it, you guys liked it, please remember to drop me a like and sub because a lot of you guys that do watch this video are not subscribed and it helps me out a ton. As I said before, everything you've seen in today's tutorial can be downloaded from my Google Drive, which is provided in the description down below. Also in the description is my Patreon if you guys want to support me, and also our Discord. So join up in the Discord, subscribe to the Patreon if you guys want to. Definitely subscribe to the channel because we're making some awesome content out here. And that's going to be it till the next time, my friends. This is User1 Productions signing off for now. Peace.